All right, so here's the next step on uh, the uh, chocolate mold, uh, the cu custom chocolate bar. Uh, so we've got our two halves. Here's one half of the chocolate mold, and here is the other half of the chocolate mold. And if you were doing the other chocolate shape, like the, the basketball one, it'd be a similar type thing. You're still going to have two parts to your mold, and you're going to have to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to save each of these as what's called an STL file. Uh, it stands for stereolithography, so which is a type of rap rapid prototyping. So we're going to click and go to save as and save copy as and when we're saving this part we're going to change the file type instead of an inventor part file we're going to come down to STL and we can leave the name the same but it's going to be sta saved to this as a stereolithography file and so we'll hit save and uh, we're going to want to do the same thing with the other part now one thing I didn't do there and it's bad practice is I have no idea where I just saved it so uh, wherever it defaulted to um, it looks like it's put it in my download folder which is not necessarily where I want it. Um, so we're going to make sure that we've got an S, um, the second one as an STL file also. And I'm going to hit save. Um, for me, that's going to work because I can get to my download folder. You cannot get to your download folder, uh, at least not very easily. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure when you save those files, you save them to uh, somewhere that works for you. Okay, now we've got both halves saved. I'm going to open up what's called MakerBot. So if you go to the Windows icon in the bottom left, the Start icon, and go to All Programs, you're going to see MakerBot. There's a folder. And the second icon under that is called MakerBot Des Desktop. And that's what you want. And when you open that, it's going to look like this right here. And there's going to be a couple steps, and you just have to kind of get through those steps um, to get to the actual prototyper itself. And you can probably just close it. But anyways, um, it defaults to their newest prototypers, the software does. Uh, so we need to change it to the device we have. Now, what we're currently running as of March 2015, uh, we have Replicator 2s. Now, it's possible that in the future we might have something newer than that. So just make sure you're aware of what, what you're using for the prototyper. So select Replicator 2. And then we're going to go to uh, Prepare. And uh, we're just going to say skip to this. And it's saying, hey, which one are you using? Replicator 2. Next. There it is. Because they all have a different build plate. The build envelope that they can design is slightly different for each of their, their printers. Um, so now we're going to go to settings. And it always defaults to use a raft. A raft is the, the kind of the puddle looking thing that's underneath your structure. And it makes it easier to get it off the build plate without damaging it. But we also want to use support. So you want to make sure both of these are checked. And we're going to just leave it on a standard uh, resolution uh, as far as speed and quality. And we'll hit save. And we're going to go to add file. And now remember mine, I think I saved them to downloads. Uh, and here they are. They're my STL files. I have the chocolate bowl, uh, chocolate bar left side. And um, see how small they got? It's all right. I'm going to size them up in a minute. And the chocolate bar right side. And they went right on top of each other. So I'm going to zoom in on those guys. Now here's how we manipulate the sizes over here. So I'm just going to click on move. And if you click it twice, and now I can actually move it. And I'm going to, the, the position of them, I can turn them if I want. If I can go to the X, Y, and Z axis and I can rotate these. But the way they're set up right now is the way I want them. So I'm just going to make sure it's laying flat. I'm going to check this guy make sure he's laying flat. And they both are. Now they're both really small. I think this is like a one inch grid right here. So you're talking about less than an inch each. So I'm going to go to scale. And uh, I'm going to hold down control. Nope, I can't select both at the same time. All right, I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to make him like four times this size. And uh, so I'm going to type in 400, because 400% is four times. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to select the other guy. It won't let me because he's hidden. OK, let's see if I can get select him. Scale, 400, Enter. OK, now I just need to go back to Move. I'm going to pull them apart a little bit. You don't want them touching, but you also don't want them way far apart because that's inefficient in the build. You might as well get them nice and close to one another. It'll build both of them separate, um, but that, that'll work well right there. And um, we can now say, hey, that's what we're going to build right there. And it's two different pieces, and that'll allow us to pull our mold apart. Okay, so if that's what I'm looking for, that's, and if I'm happy with that, I'm going to go here to Export Print File. 
And what it's going to do, normal resolution is this 0.2 millimeters, so it's two tenths of a millimeter per layer. Um, and I've got rafts on, and I've got supports on. If I went high resolution, it'd be 0.1 millimeters per per layer um, for the resolution. And if I went low resolution, it'd be 0.3. Okay, so this is going to take 27 minutes, and you get up to 60 minutes for this build. So you might say, oh, well, I want it bigger than that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel. Just because it's 27, if you think, oh, well, I'm going to double the size uh, to bring it up to 54 minutes, that's not right. If you double the size, this is going to get m take much longer. For example, if I went to scale, doubling the size would be 200%. And click here, 200%. And you go, oh, I doubled it. Whoops. Um, let's just uh, let's pretend like I didn't mess that up right now. I should reset the scale and do it again, but uh, I'm not really going to print these right now. So uh, let's just put these right here and say, hey, I doubled the size. I, I made the scale twice as much, so it should take, take twice as long. But what you're going to see is probably going to take like four times as long. So it was 27 minutes. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to take like an hour and a half to, the, to do these ones that I just made a lot bigger. Um, because you're not, not only doubling the width, but you're doubling the length and you're doubling the height. So look, at now it almost takes two full hours to do that, even though I just doubled the size. Because you doubled it in three different dimensions. Which in all reality, you made it like eight times the size, because two cubed is eight. Um, so if that makes any sense, so you get a 60 minute build. So what you want to do is mess around with your scale until you get a good size where it's going to be a 60 minute build. Then once you, uh, once you have that, and you go to export and it creates this. You can look at the print preview, which is kind of fun. It's looking, it's, it says it's going to make it in 81 layers. And as I pan back down through the layers, you can see how it's actually going to build this from that raft. And then you get like a honeycomb structure, builds it up. And there's the lower platform and then the upper ridges all the way to the top. Okay. Um, and when you're ready to export this file, you're going to hit export now, and this is what you're actually going to save it onto. You're going to have an SD card, and you're going to have it plugged into this USB SD reader, and it goes right here with the sticker of the SD facing out. Okay, and you're just going to plug this into your computer, and it does take a second to actually register it. <clears throat> but once it's been detected, if you click on computer, it's going to eventually it's going to show up as removable storage right in here, and uh, Let's just toggle back and forth. It will eventually show up on here. We hope. There it is. Okay, so now we've got removable disk. And um, oh, that's not it. Here it is. Sometimes it'll show up twice, and you'll see one actually has uh, saving potential and one doesn't. So we'll click on here. And you just have to make sure your name is unique from everybody else's. So I might just say Katie's. Custom chocolate bar mold, da, 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 da. and it's not just the left side. I have both of them on there, so I'm going to take the left side out, and I'm going to make sure I'm saving to this SD card, and it's going to save as this X3G file, and we'll hit save, and when it's uh, okay, no longer than 30. Oh, okay, my name is too long. Um, we'll just hit save. So it it cut the name a little short for me, but as long as my name is at the front of it, it's going to show up that way. So now it's verifying and it's sending this file to that SD card, and I'll be able to take the SD card, bring it to the rapid prototypers in the back, plug it in, and when I tell it to go, it's going to be the very first file that shows up there, and I know how long it's going to take to print because it already told me. Now the one I selected was almost 2 hours, which you're not allowed to do unless I give you uh, individual permission to do so. Uh, but you're aiming for 60 minutes. Okay? Good luck.